Hello everybody, welcome back to the Expansion Challenge Franchise Series. Um, we have quite the team here after a massive free agency pickup in Austin Matthews. He's 96 overall. Sure, we might be paying him $15 million a year, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Our defense looked pretty solid, and again, this isn't really like a super focused franchise mode. It's more so just a continuation of a challenge thing. So it's like a multi-year franchise mode. I, you know, I normally do drafts and stuff. It's just like doing that, but we're keeping the same team for multiple years. And then on top of that, there's challenges. Speaking of those challenges, let's find out what we're going to get for this year. First one is going to be trade for a left-handed player. Okay, that one is pretty good to get. The second challenge for this season is going to be that our best defenseman plays forward. All right, that's not too bad. You know, it's not great, but it could be worse. The third and final challenge for this season is that... Okay, so no, I have to respin. I'm so happy, though, that we did not get first line less than 85. So let's go ahead and respin to see what our third challenge is, and it is get a new head coach. That's upsetting because I just hired this guy because he fit our team very well. Are you kidding me? The game's the game, though. And luckily, we will be able to play Matthews with Pasta. The lines aren't really changing that much, other than the fact that I think who is our best defenseman? Is it Gerard? First things first, though, I'm gonna go and fire our A coach. Yeah, he's pretty sick. Promote our associate coach to our interim head coach, and let's go ahead and hire someone else here. There is an A minus, so that's still pretty good. Hopefully, the team fit is okay. Oh! I'm not overly upset about that at all. There's a goalie coach. C minus. Saunders. I just realized we don't have one, so might as well. I may or may not have accidentally offered him the assistant coach role, which is already filled. Nice. We got Haley, so that's good. And the other coach is going to be like, yeah, the role's already filled. So, we'll go get him, but sign him as a goalie coach. We got kind of blessed this year, because we don't have to do anything too extreme. I'll probably wait till the trade deadline for the left-handed player acquisition, and I also want to get this coach. Cool. Before any games get started, Gerard is our best defender, so I guess we'll take out Paling. If I play him on the third line, it's still a zero, which is nice, so I might leave him there. I might move Andrew down, though. I'm not sure. Gerard is 26, so I don't really want to stop him from growing, so I'll put him on the second line. And I guess we'll bring back up Villamaki, who's 81 overall. Seems like the move to me. Put in Villamaki. Yep. And there you go. Hopefully it didn't take him out of forward. It probably did. Why? Why does it do that? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do preferred lines again, and then try to sort this out this way. So if I simply go to defense, go to Gerard, and unscratch Harley. Right defense? Is he right? What? Where is he? Oh, I have to go to someone else because I can't swap him with himself. So I'm going to go ahead and scratch Gerard. And that way, I can toss Harley in there. Substitute. Throw Bean up on pair number one. Might leave Harley there. Uh, no, we'll throw Villamaki up there. Harley is listed as a top six. So yeah, we'll put him there for now. And now I should be able to go to Ryan Paling. Left defense, Gerard, substitute in all lines. And that should work, I believe. Luckily, we didn't get best lines because that way it really wouldn't be best lines, you know? It's just another one of those things where it doesn't really work out. But, you know, it's sort of a throw together series anyway. We're just having fun here. I had to go edit a lot of lines, but Gerard is still here. I just want to make sure I didn't mess anything up. Okay, we still look all right. Yeah, I think we're ready to get started. So with injuries off, best lines, everything, those lines should remain. And then the only thing I have left to do is obtain a left-handed player, which I will be doing at the trade deadline. All right, Montana, this is our year. Let's get it. It's likely to be a weak draft year, which is fine because we're going to win the President's Trophy. We actually went on a tear. Holy, that was a lot of Ws in a row. Matthews and Pasta have to be ripping it up together. There's no way that they're not. We're already at 31 wins and we still have two weeks till the trade deadline don't you dare go and lose every single game nice that's one dub we take that shutout win against the panthers and then we lose those two but i'm gonna mark us as a buyer and i don't want to put matthews on the waiver wire so i'm going to enter the trade deadline make sure that i do that 
and a left-handed player. That is a left-handed player. My only concern is that he has one year left, and we are already in some contract issues, so... Might not be the move. But apparently, literally everybody else shoots right. Actually, you know what? I've got a really good, really bad idea. Can I search for a specific type of player somewhere? Is there a way to do that? Who has one year left? Verona's locked up for a bit. Ooh, Manjapane's only got one year left. He's probably lighting it up right now, though. Yeah, he's doing pretty good. I guess I would still be willing to trade him if we could find another left winger. Wow, his trade value is big time. Nope. Taylor Hall also has one year left. 85 overall. It would be kind of nice to pick up Brad Marchand just to add that X factor and abilities to the team. He could play depth and obviously it's like a one year thing, but might still be worth it for that playoff push. The draft this year is supposed to be kind of cheeks, so I could give up our first, which shouldn't be that good anyway because we're doing quite well. And then we have Barbashev as well. His contract is running up. 26 points in 64 games, a dash 11. And we would be getting Bradley who is very solid. He's old, but I still think it'll work. I just don't want to get fleeced. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's propose the trade. Not even close, eh? We could pick up Ayafalo. He's got one year left, so we could just let him walk and make our team even nastier. Ryan Paling doesn't really seem to be doing much, so I could give up Paling and a third for Ayafalo, possibly. Let's go! With that, all the challenges are done, so let's get out of here. Go put Alex in the lineup and continue our so far successful season. I guess I'll take out Jake Evans. I don't know. How many points is it? 24 points. Oh. All right, Hepa Niemi's coming out. Not really sure how this line magically became a dash one, but Gerard is still on forward. How many points does he have so far? Yeah, he's not doing so hot. Sorry, Gerard, you're being demoted. So now we have Ayafalo here, which I might actually move him up to the second line. He's a two-way forward. No, you know what? We'll leave him on the third line for now. Defense, we've got Bean playing with D'Angelo, Carlo, Valimaki. Okay, so we're solid. All the challenges are completed. Our defense still playing forward. He is still our best defenseman, right? Just making sure. I keep pressing the wrong one. My brain is not working. Okay, yeah, we are all set. Let's sim the rest of the year. Still doing well after the trade deadline. Definitely don't have the division clinched though. There's a few teams right on our tail, but it looks like we might have it. Yeah, we got it for sure. The Jaguars finished with 98 points. Good enough for first in the Pacific division and in the entire league, that will put us fifth. The New York Islanders with 115 points, holy. The 21st place Nash, what did I just say? Was that, hold on, let me try that again. The 21st placed Nashville Predators made it into the playoffs and the 13th placed Montreal Canadiens did not. Matthews had 102 and Pasta had 101. That is craziness. 50 goals from Matthews as well. Andrew put up 71, Tony with 53. Short all the way down here with 37. At least he's still 87 overall. He didn't drop, which is nice. Ayafalo ended up with 48 in 81 games. We take that. Jari had 35 wins, 5 shutouts, and a 9-10. Thompson with a 9-13 and 9 wins on the year. 2 shutouts as well. Sorokin led the league and it wasn't even close. He had 10 more wins than Vasilevsky. 6 shutouts and a 9-21. What on earth happened there? Ekblad led defenseman with 70 points, a nice amount from Hedman, and then Yossi with 68. Nate Max, 69 goals? 120 points. Matthews was second and Pasta was third, but yeah, that is a year if I've ever seen one. And again, I keep forgetting the challenges are not complete yet because we have to keep Gerard on forward for our playoff run. Oh my word, the LA Kings just getting dummied out here. We... Brought out the brooms. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are going to be a 2-1 series. Let's see if we can take them down. We do. 8-1 and one in the playoffs right now. Not a big deal. St. Louis Blues, our next opponent. I don't think there's going to be any sweeps. So I'll sim the first four games. Nice. Okay. It's a close one. Who's going to take the lead in the best of three? It will be the Jaguars. But will St. Louis push a game seven? They do. Here we go, time to simulate and see which direction this one goes. Come on, Jaguars. Early power play, and we do not capitalize. Shots are in our favor quite heavily right now. Another power play that we can't capitalize on. Come on, guys. If they're gonna be handing out power plays, 
And this is the conference finals, by the way. We gotta capitalize. Verona scores on Bennington. So does Andrew. Let's go. Barbashev scores to start the second period. Nieto has something to say about that one, though. But you know what? Still got that cushion. The insurance marker, if you will. And Barbashev again. Holy smokes, the Jaguars are on fire right now. St. Louis is going to need a massive third period here. And I don't think they got it in them. Jari has been playing outstanding. I have follow. Trade deadline acquisition. Going to score on Bennington. And I think that will about do it. That's probably the nail in the coffin. The Jaguars are headed to the Stanley Cup Finals. There's your three stars in case you were curious. Jari... Outstanding. The Tampa Bay Lightning. Sim the first three games and see where that takes us. Oh my word, that's not good. Okay, let's see if we can push it to a best of three. Oh my word, we do. Who's gonna take advantage of the best of three? We're one game away from the Stanley Cup. Let's proceed. Once again, we were given a power play early on. We don't capitalize, but we do there. David, gonna bury one. Give the Jags the one nothing lead, and hopefully we can carry that into the second period. It looks like we're doing a good job of that. Nice. All right, up by one after one. Yamamoto! Okay, really, Goche? You're just gonna ruin my hype like that? That's fine. We're still in the lead, and now Tony D gonna bury one as well. We are up by two halfway through this game. We might be able to do it. Palat scores to cut the lead back down to one. Shots are pretty even right now, so both teams definitely getting their chances. We're headed to the third, up by one. Are you kidding me? What a series this has been. And let's see if the Jaguars can hold on in this third period. Not much action so far, but Hagel. He's gonna score on Jari. Let's go, Andrew! Gives us the lead again with 10 minutes to go. Come on, boys, come on. Shut it down. Shut it down. Two minutes to go, one minute. We have to watch this one. We have to. Big draw win. Andrew tries to gain the zone, but gets hit. Duheim gets it poked off of him. Still manages to come out with it, though. And he carries it all the way up the ice. Dumps it in. That'll be picked up behind the net by Twos, otherwise known as Jake Bean, who skates right into the back of their player. Matthews is in. Goes around the net. That literally did nothing. No way. They just took a penalty for elbowing! What a bad penalty. Like, I, I know I've said this before. How do you take a elbowing penalty in a video game? Like, do you press the elbow button? You know? It's not like I purposely... Anyway. 11 seconds left before we head to OT. But we do have the man advantage. Harley. We're moving the puck around. Yamamoto goes to walk out. Has his pocket picked. And this will go to extra minutes. A minute 40 left on the power play. That's a big draw win. Andrew goes in the middle. If Pasta got that shot off, it would have been deadly. Pasta? Whoa, he tried to shoot. That could have been the cup clincher. But Tampa's doing a good job of killing this penalty. They almost scored shorthanded. Guys, do you want the Stanley Cup or not? Get your act together here. Thank you. Andrew carrying it up. Gains the blue line. Andrew! No. Okay, at least we shut them down. We coughed it up and it looked like it could have been a chance, but we managed to get it back. Verona goes in the middle to Harley. The power play is now gone. And hopefully... Sorelli! To Barbashev. Oh my word! Are you kidding me, guys? We're getting so many good chances. And Foot comes out with the puck. Gets it to Kucherov, but that will be poked off of him. Sent over to Sorelli in the middle to Yamamoto. But that is also lost. And obtained by the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa's taking another penalty. Power play time again. If we don't capitalize on this one, we simply do not deserve to win. No. We're on the power play, guys. Thank you, Jari. Pasta goes in the middle. Andrew has another golden opportunity, but Vazzy turns him down. Oh my word. What was that hit? Nice. Win the battle behind the net. Phillip goes for a close side shot. And it will not be the Stanley Cup winner. Oh no. That was just unfortunate. Braden Point. Did he try to go five hole? Jari has been so clutch. Come on boys. Let's get some more golden chances here. Nice. Not really nice. 
You did something good and then you went and ruined it. If we end up losing after all of this, I am going to be livid. What a save by Jari. This man, he's the only one out there right now that I feel like actually wants to win the Stanley Cup. Playing legendary. Actually, you know what? I take that back. Andrew has been playing quite well as well. So I can't discredit him. Nice. If you went backdoor to Matthews, I feel like that could have been a goal. Their defense might have been there, though. It feels like we've had most of the pressure and overall the majority of the chances, but they've had the closer chances. I think they've had two breakaways. They're taking another penalty. And we will be starting OT number two with the man advantage. Matthews rips one! Oh, we are getting... Like, right there. It is so close. Oh, my word. Another good chance. A one-timer. And we missed the net. I think we still have, like, 20 seconds left on the power play. But watching our team play right now is so frustrating. Vrana! What are you doing? That was a donation. No! Yamamoto! You had the entire net. Vrana goes down low. To Yams, back to Sorelli. I like this puck movement. Barbashev. I think that was Barbashev. Almost had a chance. And we are even strength again. None of this would have happened if we just didn't let them score with a minute left. You know, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. They're taking another penalty. Another one. If we don't capitalize, like, guys, I'm done with you. The whole team's traded. They're handing us the Stanley Cup. Here you go. All we have to do is take it. Sorelli! Back door! There it is! Barbashev, the Stanley Cup winner! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! The Montana Jaguars expansion in year number three. Take home the ultimate prize. What a year. That was a legendary performance. We almost went to triple overtime. I can't believe it. I cannot. You know what? No, I can believe it. I really can. Matthews came in, put up 102, Pasta put up 101, and Jari, yeah, this man right here, Con Smythe, no doubt, absolutely 100,000% deserved. He played phenomenal. Hold it loud and proud, Jari, because you, my friend, might be the only, if not then, a major reason that we just won that thing right there. Iconic performance. Who even is our captain? Is it Andrew? It is Andrew. I don't know how he got that or why he has it. But no, actually I do know why. He deserves it 100%. He played outstanding. And now he gets to hold the cup above his head. We won it in Tampa, but I don't care. Dub is a dub. A cup is a cup. Oh, I forgot you get to pick who to hand it off to next. Um, I'm not doing anything, by the way. Is it because I did CPU versus CPU game? They just do it themselves? Alright, fair enough. <laughs> there you go. I have follow the trade deadline acquisition. Is going to hold the cup above his head next. What a year. Who's gonna hold it next? Uh, two choices remaining. <laughs> like, what's going on here? I have no idea what's happening. But anyway, did they give it to Yamamoto next? I don't know why I'm pronouncing- Yamamoto. There we go. That's more like it. I'm pronouncing it like they do Toronto. Yeah. Well, anyway. I've seen enough. 52 shots to 44, you know. Six losses in our entire playoff run. Yam, yeah, point a game in the playoffs. He got more than Matthews and Pasta. Unless they also got 22. No, Sorelli got 21. Matthews with 20. Pasta only put up 14. Barbashev with- a 27.5 shooting percentage. Is that good? Points still had the most points in the playoffs. 30 in 22 games. Cooch put up 27. Backstrom with 23 and 17. Jari, not a big deal. A 932-209. Absolutely outrageous performance from that young man. Carlson had the most points for defenseman with 16. And then Gerard had 11. I mean, he's not really a defense this year, but I'll allow it. The Montana Jaguars, your Stanley Cup champions. Let's see if we took home any individual trophies. Obviously, we know Nate Mack absolutely rinsed it this year. Con Smythe goes to Jari. That might be all we see, but it doesn't matter. 
because we won the trophy that matters the most. Anyone important retire? Claude Giroux? Wayne Train? Oh no! Carey Price? Pretty sure he already retired, but all right. Let's see if our scouts did anything this year. First pick is medium elite by Kov. All right, that means there's probably not going to be a franchise player. So let's go ahead and sim to pick number 25. See if we have anyone good here. Oh my goodness. There's just nothing. We have no visibility. Our scouts are absolute trash. But we will go with Jody anyway, just because why not? Oh! Okay, say less. Just gonna sort to see if there's any gems or busts. There is a gem. Expected to go at 69. Nice. That's gonna be pretty close to our next pick. So I'm tempted to just try to draft them now. But there's also this low elite player here. An enforcer. Maybe? I don't know. This Jace McGillis guy kind of slipped. Went from what's well, supposed to be 31 and now we're at pick 33. Let's just try it. I don't know. Probably not gonna pay off. Back to round one. Show me what he was. Medium top four defender. Not bad at all. Did our guy go? I don't remember what his name was, but we're at pick number 66 now, so he might still be- Nope, he is still there. Bernard LaBelle. A gem. Make pick. And I have to go- <laughs> Come on. Low top four. That's alright. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, sorry, not sorry. I don't care if he's supposed to go- Actually, we're pick number 99 right now, so we're pretty close. We just got a guaranteed medium elite goalie. This P.E.K.K.A. guy, pretty close to our current pick. Same with- No, let's go with P.E.K.K.A. Make selection. And I have no idea. Okay, so let's just go back to make sure that that goalie was medium elite, first of all. And, yep, 61 overall as well, you know. That's not bad. And our last pick- was a low top four again. I'm a little nervous for this re-sign phase. I don't think we'll be able to get everybody. $17 million of cap space left. We got Andrew here who wants a $7 million deal. I have follow wants four. That's more realistic. Jake Bean also wants an extension at 5 million. You're 83 overall, bud. Get real. Jake Evans, finally. Someone that's reasonable. Try to sign our two-way contracts back. I don't even know how the AHL team did this year. I haven't looked once. Do we have any goalies that we have to sign? Oh my goodness, we do have to sign Thompson. And this lad as well. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Oh yeah, absolutely I'm signing you. And what does Jakob want? Oh, come on. Easy. We only have $8 million left. Do I have to let Andrew walk? I can't. I can't. He's too good. And we got him back. So we currently have $2 million left. A bunch of qualified RFAs. I don't know, we might be in a pickle here. We've got three medium elite goalies in the system. I want one of them to be the backup in the AHL this year. I just don't know which one. I'm leaning towards this guy because he's only one overall lower and he's a year younger. So I think I am going to go with Mr. Corazin Corazini. I think that's right. So we're definitely not signing any free agents. That's for sure. Actually, we only have 32 contract signed. So I should probably try to sign some two-way UFA players. I guess if they're wanting a two-way, they're probably UFA. There's some decent players that want two-way contracts. All right, if these guys sign, we should be unreal. And we got all of them. So not only did we complete all of the challenges and as a result, get to keep our boys... AKA, well, we get to keep our boys together, I should say. Only one of them would have had to have been put on the waiver wire if we failed to complete a challenge, but we didn't. Oh yeah, 82 overall, look at this guy go. Gerard did drop to 86, but that's all right. In net, we've got Jari at 87, Thompson backing him up. Again, these lines are all tentative because of the fact that we do have challenges for the next season. Head coach preferred lines in the AHL. And there you go. Oh, we could use some more defenders. That's rough. Also, who's this Michael guy? I doubt it. Where's the- Hello? He's not up in the NHL, is he? That would make no sense. Maybe he's just too young to play or something like that? Okay, well, free agents. Let's sort by two-way contracts and let's sort by defensemen. I don't care what handedness you are. I don't know why I pause there. Just make sure we get those guys. Extremely happy and... Why are the other ones taking so long? There we go. That looks much better. Other than the dash one. So, Ferentz, congrats. You're promoted. All right, well... These are, again, our tentative lines for the time being. We look sick. I think we're going to be very successful again this year. I think we have two scratched players up here for now, but... Uh, ooh, Harley, I don't really want him to be scratched. Although, he doesn't really seem to be growing. I don't know what's up with that, but he's sort of staying put. Yeah, that could work. Lilligren playing with Harley in the AHL, but... What a year it was. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, you could leave a like. That'd be great. And on that note...
I guess we'll continue and hopefully get back-to-back -back cups in year number four, but we'll see what challenges we get. I'll see you soon.